Hey, Fish Keepers, it's Aqua Alex here, and it's time for Monster Fish Monday. This week, it's Shark Week, and because it's Shark Week, we're going to talk about one of the largest freshwater shark fish out there. Now, this is not a true shark. Rather, it is a catfish. It is a relative of the iridescent shark. It is a type of catfish I've never kept before, but I've always wanted to keep. There are some fish keepers out there who have kept them, and they do have experience with them. However, I am not one of them. I don't ever recall seeing them in person either, but they are definitely very cool, and they're very shark-like. So because it's Shark Week, we're going to talk about Peroon Sharks here on Monster Fish Monday. So let's get into some information on Peroon Sharks. If you're a fish keeper who has kept them in the past, let me know what they're like in the comments. So the Peroon Shark is also known as the Giant Pagasus. It's a species of freshwater fish in the shark catfish family, Pagasidae. They're found in the Shao, Fryra, and Mekong basins in Indochina. Its populations have declined drastically, mainly due to overfishing, and it is now considered critically endangered. The Peroon shark is native to the Mekong and Chow Fryer rivers that run through China, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, and the Lao People's Democratic Republic. One thing to note about the Peroon shark is that they are tolerant of poor quality water, mainly in brackish waters, and they prefer to live in the bottom of deep depressions in freshwater rivers. The fish live in rivers but are experiencing endangerment due to dams being built, causing the fish to be trapped and unable to migrate. Now, here's the whopping size the Peroon shark can reach. It definitely is a monster. Full-grown adults can reach 9.8 feet in length. Wow. Almost 10 feet in length, and they can weigh up to 660 pounds. That is a huge fish, ladies and gentlemen. It is a carnivorous fish whose prey consists of shrimp, crabs, and fish. Since the fish lives on the bottom, it's also known to feed on larger animals' carcasses. Due to it being both an apex predator and a bottom-dwelling fish, it limits the populations of smaller fish as many catfish species. The Peruma shark is important to many locals that reside in the regions where the rivers run through as this is an important food source. Many fishing villages rely on organisms that reside in the river to provide food for their family as well as a source of income as they can sell them at markets. Due to this fish's large known range, it can show us migratory pathways and spawning habits in areas that should be protected and other areas that can be harvested. Peruvian sharks are also valuable assets in the aquarium hobby and the pet trade. They are considered exotic organisms as they are not commonly found in aquariums and are not domesticated, thank God, because they can reach almost 10 feet and almost over 600 pounds. Who is going to have a tank big enough for a fish that gets over 9 feet? These fish sometimes appear in the aquarium hobby. Because they're such a large fish, most, spe most specimens do not reach their full size without an extremely large aquarium or pond. So I am of the belief now that Peroon sharks don't belong in the aquarium hobby, just like Piraiba catfish don't belong in the aquarium hobby. Growing up as a monster fish loving teenager, sure, I'd love to keep them, but now they get too big. That is this week's monster fish, the Peroon shark. Celebrating Shark Week here on my YouTube channel, The Real Alex Cardinelli. Post your thoughts on the Peroon Shark in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great week, everyone. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.